Today, I wanted to show you how you can make money online with Mid Journey V4. So, there is a lot of demand for YouTube thumbnails on Upwork and Fiverr, and using Mid Journey for this can be really productive. So, let me just show you how I've been making some good money with this strategy. So, let's just start by looking at what kind of tools you need for following this strategy. So, of course, you need a Mid Journey account. So, I really recommend that you have the paid version. I guess probably you could pull it up with the free version, but I think that's going to be much harder, but uh, I guess it could work. Uh, you will also need an account on Upwork, because if you're going to apply for jobs, you have to have an, I guess you have to have a verified account, actually. Uh, but that should be very easy. And I really recommend Canva, but uh, there's also other uh, tools you can use for this, like Photoshop and different kind of things so let me just go over this um, strategy here okay so the first thing we want to do is finding a job so what I usually do is I just go to Upwork uh, I guess you can use Fiverr too but I don't use that so I'm not going to show that now uh, just go to Upwork into my account search for YouTube thumbnail uh, I usually sort by newest and then I just have a look here I'm looking for a thumbnail designer, short videos, YouTube titles, build me a template. Okay, so let's check this out. I run a YouTube channel that focuses on self-development. We're looking for a designer to create thumbnails and similar to this channel. Let's open this. Check out videos. Let's have a look at these thumbnails. Okay, so this looks kind of okay to make. Shouldn't be that difficult. It's like an art style and kind of looks like they are made with AI art to be honest. But uh, let's have a look. So I guess we could make styles like this. Um, so that's going to be our um, starting point. Uh, finding a job, looking at what kind of styles they want. And then we of course have to check um yeah they want us to send a propose proposal so what is nice with mid journey is that it's quite easy so i guess i can make just make five proposals so that should go quite fast it's not a it's not a big paid job but uh if you can get a, like a good um an effective productive uh production of this you could actually make some good money at least i have been so let me just have a closer look at this and head over to Mid Journey. Okay, so first, uh, let's just have a look here. Uh, let's try to recreate some of these uh, these styles. Uh, I think I got the perfect prompt for this. So uh, let me just get some females and some males. Looks like they're going for like this Chad kind of males, and these it's not anime, but it's kind of like an art style. So. And they usually like split the thumbnail in two and do like an X or a check. So I think this should be quite easy. So I kind of think I have a prompt we can use for this. Uh, I was trying to put it in here as you can see, but I forgot the V4. So actually we can check out the differences now. Uh, so let's just go imagine. And just copy this. It's going to be like a manipulating... Beautiful 22 year old woman, retro 90s, 8k sharp focus, so just do one of them. Okay, so maybe some came after here, yeah. Uh, to imagine. And I wanted this same prompt, but just with GTA style. I guess we could add retro here too. This. Also, let's do handsome or something. Chad male, 25 year old male with the same prompts. Let's do 90s. So, 
just gonna let this run okay so we got some results back let me just go over them here hope you can see this all right uh, so here is our gta style kind of cool actually just the retro style and same with the girls so i picked out two of these did a remix I'm gonna upscale this one and probably just this one then my plan is to do like um the law of attraction uh the truth uh like a thumbnail like they're gonna be side by side and have these text as we can see from these thumbnails here have these text down here so at least that's my plan so now i'm just gonna wait for the upscale and i guess then we just go over to conva and create the thumbnail so we got our images now let's just do some work here in conva just uploaded this uh my plan was just to go like 50 50 so just pull this out this uh, I guess we might have to pull them like a bit apart get this line in the middle this then I just I guess let me see here they usually have this white line right yeah this is actually in the middle guess it's all right let me add some this this get some text so we kind of wanted to is this what kind of text is this let me just see i think it's some kind of just serif isn't it But it's bolder. Maybe like this. Uh, take our title here. The law of attraction. Boom. This. This is going to be white. That didn't quite stand out. Okay. It's much bolder and i kind of think wait now i want it like that okay so i think i figured out uh, how they do it they do like this it's almost like a backdrop so if we change this to black and we can like make it a bit more transparent maybe like this and maybe try to group it uh, i don't want uh, let's move this a bit up like this same here this maybe a bit more this I think that's fine find the center God. God, God, God. That the center, okay. So this is a bit off now. Has to come. Uh, sorry, I have to see this. Yeah, pretty happy with that. And I guess we want the truth. So copy that. That was kind of the same, but in. yellow maybe we need another backdrop let's see yellow bright yellow Try that. it's a bit bright like this maybe. 
and I kind of want the backdrop here so just do square I really like Kanma because it's so easy to work with it's quite it's much bigger so I guess we have to do 45 maybe yeah, that seems about right. Okay, you get the point. Maybe this is not perfect, but I kind of... Let's download this. Uh, the title is just going to be... The Law of Attraction. The truth. That wasn't half bad. kind of like it. Zoom in. Yeah, it's not too bad. It's missing a bit uh, contrast. That's kind of it. Other than that, pretty happy with this. So hopefully you uh, get the point. Uh, you, of course, you probably should do a bit more uh, twisting and adjustments and stuff. But this was just an easy example. So, uh, I guess let's head back to Upwork. Okay, here we are back on the job on Upwork. So, let's just hit submit a proposal. I'll show you how you do this. And, uh, of course, we got the job. This is going to cost two connects. Uh, that's quite cheap, actually. Uh, by project, so that's going to be $8. Let's hit something. Let's do YouTube. Thumbnail. I, I'm not gonna fill out this. This is just for show. And then it's just gonna be uh, uploading our thumbnail. So like this. Uh, send for two connects. Let's see. Okay, your proposal has been submitted. So I guess now we just have to wait and see if we get the job. But the point was like to just to show you how you can do this. Uh, I know this is not for everyone, but uh, try to be creative and not just copy this. Hopefully this could give you some other ideas to be creative around AI art and mid journey. GPT-3 and other things, some things that I like to do on this channel, as you probably have seen, but uh, yeah. Okay, so that was it. Hopefully this can give you some more creative ideas. I don't know if you want to copy exactly what I did now, uh, but it's been working for me for a while, uh, even better now with Mid Journey 4. But it takes some time and you don't get all of the jobs, but I really recommend give it a shot if you want to. Anyway, uh, check out some of my other videos here. Uh, that would be nice. And have a great day and I'll see you again.